Hello and welcome to another Tech It tutorial from the Beard Tools. This one I'm going to be covering power, like how to power your stuff, and also talking about possible power core configurations, which I'll show you later on. Now let's start. This is a Redstone engine power core, just using some Redstone, um, some uh, wooden conductive pipe. You need wooden conductive pipe to get energy out of any engine, and use, I'm just using golden conductive pipe to put it. But as you can see here, Redstone engines will not power anything. They won't. I don't know why. I don't know why they don't work. It's. I don't know why. I can see the red, so the thing. But you can use it. Use these to pull um, water or liquids or anything or items out of boxes. Now, that's the redstone. Now I know these ones work. Now these are Sterling engines, and I've just set up a simple system here because I'm just so lazy. And uh, this will just transfer coal into them. It's just like, as you can see here, got some golden pipes here. Got a uh, normal wooden pipe here as you can see it just goes into any of them and this I call this the lazy man's way of keeping all your engines right as you can see here you got this blue line that goes into this which is this is a redstone energy cell which is uh, will store in the uh, energy as MJ now if I put the uh, this up as you can see here it starts storing energy as the redstone energy wouldn't so it's it's rather interesting but you can see it here as if you've got all these running you'll have quite a bit of energy coming in. As you can see here, just at the moment, these are powering up. Just a very simple system of making power because then as long as you keep the chest full of coal, and these machines will keep going and will keep going and keep going because these don't need any water and are quite robust and won't, I don't think they'll explode, they'll explode at a certain level. They will, as you can see here, click on the power. Uh, let's click one that's working. Here we go, got temperature. It stores around about 50 uh, MJ inside itself as it burns down, produces one MJ per tick. Next one, we've got these combustion engines. Now, on the right, I'm using fuel, and on the left, I'm using coal. Uh, sorry, oil. Now, I just put some redstones here to activate these to start putting putting fuel into them, and so they start working. Well, now let's just put some redstone here. Now, these engines here are from Billcraft, and they need redstone. To actually work, they need like a redstone circuit to work. So you can use lever, etc. And as you can see here, look at the amount of power that's coming out there, producing six MJ per second. Now, combustion engines will always need to be cooled because look at that. Look how much heat's going. They will need always need water in them to be cooled. So at the moment, using these aqueous accumulators. Now these are great things. They are. Now you just put them in. This is how you make it. You can very very quick and easy. As long as you put these in a, a endless supply of water. Now we'll continue pumping water into these. So really, this is just a really simple system. I'm not sure if you need to. I just have two on there just to make sure. As long as you've got fuel, or oil pumping into these machines, they will keep producing power. As you can see here, look, the thicker the line, the more power. At the moment, we've got 36,000 already in there from this 10 setup. As you can see, this is producing three. So the difference between oil and fuel is oil produces three MJ per second. Fuel produces six MJ per second. You get uh, fuel from refining oil, you do, and it's quite good. So these are the Billcraft engines. As you can see here, Sterling up to eighteen thousand. That's been going a while. This has been going. It's already up to fifty-six thousand. So if you can set this up without these exploding, which you can do with a little thing, but as you can see, the heat continues to go up. But as long as you've got water going into them, they will not explode. As long as the water's full, they won't explode. Next, these are new ones. These are from Thermal Expansion. These are steam engines. Now, these require water as well. They do require about 4,000 millibars of water. So I've used the same setup, just two aqueous accumulators connected up to this. To connect up to these. And then I've just set up another simple system of transferring coal into these. So let's just take some coal out of here quickly and just shove these shove it into these so literally just coal goes into these it does and it will sit there and continue to produce power so let's just shove some coal into these really really quickly now these are quick setups of like how you can set up things there's no coal in this one but it's producing power anyway as you can see here producing quite a bit of power look at that four five five thousand but these are not even full yet so these will just continue producing power and uh this will continue shoving coal where it's needed or just chuck it out like that 
this is why I'm not a big fan of build craft things because it will just chuck out the stuff when you want. So I'll show you one later on, which is a little bit better. But as you can see, as long as he's got, let's just turn this off because it's getting on my nose now. Let's just continue chucking out coal. Look, it's just chucking out the willy nilly. But it's just a simple system, produces quite a lot of power, as you can see there. And there is a few textile bugs like this, as you can see, but don't worry about it, it shouldn't really affect it much. Next, we've got magmatic engines. These do. Oh, these require um, magma, they do, to, uh, well, lava to run. So, because there's none in there, I'm just going to chuck a lava bucket quickly in there. As you can see, there's already lav lava's pumping into them. But let's just chuck a few, some more lava in there, just to make sure. There you go, they're all running now. And as long as you've got a pump here, I'll just pump lava into them. And these don't require any water or anything to run. Just can just requires lava to run. As you can see here, nice strong pile here. As you know, fill up, like it's up to 11,000, 12, 13,000. So those are the main energy setups you can have. You can, uh, redstone, redstone engines don't do anything. Sterling engines are pretty good, not as powerful as the steam engines. Uh, combustion engines will be the most powerful. As you can see, they're going green. Green is stable energy. If it goes red, turn them off because they will explode after a while. But as you can see, it's filling up this uh, redstone energy cell which holds 600,000 MJ. All right, so the next one is the redstone engine, uh, sorry, the steam engines, which I don't think they explode, but if you don't have them transferring the power into anything, they will break. But as you can see, going nicely, and the magmatic engines are going at the same rate, or even better, actually, it's caught up quite quickly. Now, let me just show you some setups I've set up over here. Now, this is a magmatic. This is a magmatic power core. Now, you can. There are different ways. This is lava fabricator from um, Factory Craft. I think it is. It is from Mine Factory Reloaded. This is a. Uh, lava fabricator, it requires MJ to work, it does, and all it does is produce lava, so at the moment I've got five magmatic engines at the bottom, five at the top, five on the other side, five. so at the moment I've got 20 engines here producing power, as you can see here, so as long as these are supplied with lava, they will continue producing power, as you can see here, four MJ, maximum of four MJ, so that's pretty good. So as long as this has got power, it will produce lava, it will sit there and push it in. There is uh, another one, if I look here, I'm not too sure which one it is. It's one of these. One of the things in thermal expansion, you can create lava from cobblestone, never rack, or stone you can. And it will create lava, it will. So you can connect these up, but this is just kind of like uh, like a self repair and so it's powering these producing lava which will then re in turn refeed these but it's not really efficient because the amount of power you need to produce lava isn't really good so I'm not too sure about one I'm still working on this this is early development of this so you can see it's producing some power not as much as I would like to next as it starts to get dark this is one I've been working on for a little while now this is using uh, applied energetics Energetics it is to supply everything with coal. Now these are steam engines, so all I'm doing is using aqueous accumulators with uh, phase waterproof pipes, which then provide these with water. As you can see, I've got one for each side, and then I've got same again, 20 of the engines. Now I just need to give this a piece of coal to work, which then should power this up. Hopefully, just a little bit. Let's give another one. So as you can see here, once this is powered up, this will then start sending coal to these export buses here. It will. I wonder why that's got none in it. It will. It'll start sending coal to these export buses. And this is kind of like, it just takes power. That It's taking 31 units per tick. And this is just a normal ME chest with some ME storage. And this is just so I can see how much coal I've got. But as you can see, <coughs> Excuse me. It will just continue filling up. It will using these export buses on each engine. So each engine has, it's been told this export coal to this engine, etc., etc. So it's rather expensive, but I found this has be one of the most best setups I've ever used because you can. It produces quite a bit of power. Look at that. It's producing quite a bit, but it's coal heavy. It will be. It will be coal heavy because at the moment this magmatic one I'm still working on. I think this might be a good way of producing power, but 
it's more of how to produce the lava it will be so if you can if you've got an endless supply of lava which you can do you can come across these huge pools of lava when you're mining if you can pump that back up into tanks and you can pump it into these engines you can produce quite a lot of power quite easily because these produce 4 mj per tick where these ones produce 2 mj per tick they do so this is just a simple system to show this is resource heavy this is and this one if you've got an endless supply of lava you should be all right but I'm still working on this. I'll probably see if I can produce better ones. I have produced, um, what was it, 10, 20, 30, 40, about, I think 50 or 60 one of this, this kind of version with coal going to it. And it could fill one of these up in about three minutes. It could, it can produce 600 MJ, 600,000 MJ in about three minutes, I think it was, which is quite quick. So I'll produce, probably be looking over this, probably make better ones. It could. And you could probably make smaller versions of this, probably maybe uh, maybe an 8 version of this, and it could produce some power. But as you can see, it looks, it's up to almost 80,000 MJ already, and it hasn't been that long. So, it's kind of like self-sustaining this is, as long as this has got power, this has got power, which then in turn feeds the system, etc. This is the same with this one as well. As long as this has got power, it will then refill fill, uh, fill the system that it's run out, this one has. This one's running out as well. It's just, I'm just trying to figure out a better way to make this and produce more lava because uh, it's at 62,000 and this is already going on to 100,000. So this system is really better, but as if you've got an end of supply of lava, this would be good because you won't need these. Because if I get rid of these, it then produces quite a bit of power quite quickly, as you can see there. If I just fill these back up with lava like this for some reason you can just pour lava buckets into them don't have to worry sorry about the texture packs I know no matter what texture packs I've been using it still like goes up as you can see here that this is quite a lot of power if it doesn't have to siphon off power to use to resupply it so I'm still kind of tinkering with this hopefully I'll come up with a better idea this one I think is the better one at the moment if you can use you could probably use um, Billcroft pipes just to produce put coal into these but I just wanted to use um, applied energetics to make it better so hope you've enjoyed these uh, please like comment subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time for another tech tutorial bye bye people bye bye <laughs>